Hello guys, welcome back again. This is Suresh from Mr. Automation channel. Today in this session, we will understand assertions in the JMeter session. So far, we have discussed about the listeners. So in case if you are new to this session, do watch my earlier session so that you will understand the listeners which we have discussed so far. And there are multiple listeners also. We have discussed only few types. There are multiple types. We can go through them uh, in the coming sessions. For now, we will see the basic assertions. In assertions also, we have multiple assertions, but we will go two or three. This is my test plan. And in that we have a sampler. This is HTTP request sampler and we have multiple listeners here. So for now, I will do one thing. I will select view results tree to disable so that it will not execute again and aggregate report as well. Disable. Now, if I just hit it once, so if I uh, clear this reports and hit one time so now if I go to view results tree this is showing as first test was successful which is showing as green tick mark so I can add assertion towards uh, this is a response code response message so I can add a response uh, assertion to this 200 and response message okay I can add this two types I can add so if I go to this thread group and right click go and add if I go to the assertions, I can see the response assertion. So here text response, response code, response message. If I click response message and click on add and here if I say uh, OK and just quickly save it and if I run. So I should see here uh, record is coming in view results tree and it is saying as error. Why it is error I can see so there is a test failure expecting uh, to be contained okay so uh, let me see this response so it is a capital in letters but I have given in small case so that is the reason it is failing if I give capitals in okay and save and if I execute it again if I go to view results tree I should see green so this case is passing now again I can go to the same response assertion and I can add a response code as well so if I say response code I will modify this ok to 200 so if I say oh, save and I can again run go to the view results tree I can see it is passed so to see whether response code is working or not I can make it to the response code to 201 and save and I go and run go to the view results tree it is failing so why it is failing it is expecting 200 but it is came as 201 so this is how you verify the response assertion so there are multiple things are there uh, response message response header so all this we will see in upcoming sessions and if I go to again thread group and right click and go and uh, add a new assertion called size assertion so before uh, going into the size assertion, I wanted to see what is the average bytes that we are getting for this request. So average bytes it was getting is 21544 is average bytes. So now I will go to the size assertion and I will tell this as 500 as a size bytes and it should be less than or equal, less than or equal to 500. If I run it again, I should see a error again to the size assertion. So size assertion is 21500 bytes but I was expecting 500 bytes if I go to here and I should say that my size byte should be more than 2100 more than 2100 if I am saying greater than or equal it should pass the size assertion if I go to the view results tree and open this view results tree I, I am seeing only response assertion that size assertion uh, element was not coming now so this is how you verify the size assertion if I again go to my thread group I can go and uh, add one more assertion called duration assertion so this is a duration assertion so this duration assertion will do uh, how much time the my response is taking uh, whether my response is coming in 10 seconds or 20 seconds if it is taking more than that I should fail so if I go to this view uh, summary report I should see maximum it is going to the 144 so if I erase it and uh, if I run it again for the one time so if I run and go to the rec summary report maximum it is taking 30 milliseconds so if I again erase it and go to this duration assertion and here I am saying that 25 25 milliseconds it should take more than that it should fail so now I will run go to the view results table or tree 
and uh, duration assertion so it is failing because 25 milliseconds is lesser but actually it is taking 35 milliseconds so this time is not constant so sometimes it may varies between a couple of seconds so you have to uh, find out the the standards of your company or a standards towards your application then you can select that milliseconds and you can put it that assertion now i will say this duration assertion to uh, somewhere around 100 seconds so 100 seconds is my maximum time that it should take now if i go and run and go to the view results tree and go to this uh, test and if i see only assertion failure is there all assertion are passing if i go back to the response uh, assertion there also i can modify that to 200 so now i have three assertions i should see all assertions are passing with the valid assertion if i go to view results tree i should see everything is passing so this is how we verify the assertions towards your samplers so these are the basic assertions so far i have discussed there are html assertion xml assertion uh, regular expression assertion so there are multiple assertions we have so we can do when we are actually doing a, a, a one uh, real time test hope this session is helpful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel if you have any questions queries you can comment in my comment section and i will be out thank you for watching